never thought I'd see the day you were praying in a church. I like to come back to places I know sometimes. Do things I've done once before. Interesting. Is that a mortal thing? In my world it is. Sounds miserable. What are you here for, Gianna? To talk with you. I've heard conversing with you is like conversing with a poet. Remarkable words always spew from your mouth. As flattering as that sounds, conversing is the last thing you'd want to do with me. Why are you really here? Because you took something away from me, and I want it back. And what might that be exactly? You might remember her. A human girl. Short. Beautiful. Mocha skin tone with a gorgeous mane. Does this girl have a name? Santo. Hmm. Doesn't ring any bells. Maybe you should ask God. He knows where everybody is. <laughs> he certainly does. Always keeping an eye on his children. But... I prefer getting answers with my own methods. Ooh, feisty little one, aren't you? Wish more angels showed their true nature like you do. Where is she? Right where she belongs. In hell. You don't get to make that decision. You know the rules. She must stand before us in trial, and we, the judges of Gehenna, go through her life and examine the events that have transpired, and give her the opportunity to repent. If she, during the repenting hour, isn't true to her word or just doesn't repent, then she belongs to you, not the other way around. I don't remember hearing that rule. Must have slipped my mind. <laughs> where is she? She's not where you say she is. She's right behind you. <laughs> Santo! <laughs> Santo, wake up. Wake up, Santo. <laughs> you are ambitiously barbaric. People don't like having their hair pulled, you know. What did you do to her? I took her soul. Easiest thing I've ever done. And to a human like her, best decision I've ever made. She could have repented. She could have seen the error of her actions. You know what she has done. You know of the chaotic evil of which this witch has committed. I know what she's done. I know the immoral sin she has created throughout her life, but the rules still follow. She must repent before her destination is decided upon. She will have been sent to me regardless. And why is that? Because no one can forgive a sex trafficker. <laughs> Humans are interesting with the free will they are given. They have angels like you, leading souls down the path that is the most godly, making sure that their path to heaven is an easy track. And then they have me, the demon in the back of their heads where most dark thoughts lie. Most would ignore my presence, but many like Santo fall to their desires. They act upon what others would conceive as a crime against the world. You get a kick out of this, don't you, you seek freak? Harshly put. Truly, I do not find a thrill from this. It just makes much more sense for me to take them to the place where they rightfully belong. No. What she did was wrong, but there is still good in her. My job was to make sure she stayed on the path that God truly intended for her. But I, of course, understand free will. I would try so hard to make sure that she stay in the path that God truly intended for her. But her free will always got the best of her. When she worked at the church, she was loving, caring in everything she did. I never saw any evil in her until I saw what she was doing in action. I remember her getting close with the girl each passing week. 
She would have that girl suspect nothing until it was too late. I tried getting her to rethink her actions. I tried to get her to stop, but it didn't work. I watched that girl get in the back of the car and she would never be seen again. I may have failed her as a godly conscience, but I will never give up on being the angel that God gave her. I remember having to worry about morality and the goodness in people's hearts during my time as one of God's angels. Finally figured out how vain it all was. Shut up! Very stira dove dice, irita roger! Well 